Good evening and welcome to Tucker Carlson tonight. The news out of the Dominican Republic getting worse by the day. Americans in danger there. Now, an American baseball legend is in the hospital tonight. Even Fox's own news crew has come under attack. This show is on the ground for an exclusive joint investigation into what's happening there. A live report from the DR just minutes away. But first tonight, you probably didn't read about it over the weekend, but it looks like the president's recent brinkmanship with Mexico actually worked. A week and a half ago, the president threatened to impose tariffs on all goods coming across our southern border until the Mexican government joins us to fight illegal immigration, migration they have been abetting for years. Well, on Friday, they got the message and caved. The Mexican government will now deploy 6,000 troops along its southern border with Guatemala. And going forward, certain asylum seekers will wait in Mexico rather than the U.S. until their cases are resolved. Now, none of that is going to solve our illegal immigration crisis, but it is, at least potentially, a big help. And you'd think every American would be happy about it. But no. Democratic presidential candidates spent the weekend complaining about the deal and taking Mexico's side. Watch. We need a decent relationship with Mexico. They are our allies, as is the case with Canada. We should not be confronting them every other day. Trump's erratic Threats and trade policies are not the way to go. The tariffs in general, um, I thought what happened uh, with Mexico and the way he used that um, on the immigration issue was just um, not a good thing. Yeah, I think the president has completely overblown what he purports to have achieved. By and large, the president achieved nothing except to jeopardize the most important trading relationship that the United States of America has. So in case you're trying to follow the reasoning at home, by asking Mexico to stop encouraging an illegal invasion of our country, we're, quote, jeopardizing our relationship with Mexico, and it's our fault. Okay. But the dumbest and most extreme response came, as it always does, from Senator Cory Booker of New Jersey. Having a border at all, Booker explained, is very much like murdering people during the Holocaust. As much as he wants to make us afraid of, of, of people trying to come here escaping terror, not remembering, like, when we turned away other immigrants trying to escape terror, there was a, a ship that came here during World War II with a bunch of folks trying to escape the Holocaust, and we turned it around where they got killed in the Holocaust. We, with the shame of that, we you think we would learn our lesson about people coming here to seek asylum escaping terror. So how do you even respond to a statement like that. Maybe it's best to ignore it. But if you take three steps back, what do you conclude from rhetoric like this? Well, you probably assume the Democratic Party loves immigrants. But you'd be wrong. They don't. To the Democratic Party, immigrants are just a means to an end. And of course, the end is always the same, power. When immigrants to this country become pro-American and call for following our laws, as many do, by the way, the left turns on them too. It happens a lot. It's happening right now to a Gwinnett College professor called Fang, Fang Zhu. Zhu is a legal immigrant from China. He loves the United States. He strongly opposes illegal immigration here. For that, activists are demanding that he be fired from his job. Professor Zhu is not giving it. In fact, tomorrow night he'll join us on this show. But the Democratic Party doesn't want more immigrants like Fang Zhu. They're very clear about that. They want immigration that is based on family ties, anything but merit. Why? Because for the Democratic Party, the more desperate, the less skilled, the less educated a potential immigrant is, the easier to control, and therefore the better. And that's why in the state of California right now, the government there is planning to spend hundreds of millions of dollars to provide free health care to illegal immigrants. That, of course, won't help the state of California. It won't help millions of hard-pressed middle-class Californians, but that doesn't matter. Helping regular Americans stop being the agenda a long time ago.